underground cables. So till now we have discussed about overhead lines mostly right. So the power can be transmitted by means of underground cables as well. So we will see what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages as compared to the overhead lines. First we will see the advantages. The very first advantage is public safety. See in case of rains or huge storms, what is going to happen? Overhead lines they may get cut off, they may get short circuited or sometimes even the transmission towers may fall. Okay? So, in case of cables that is not going to happen, they are least affected by such conditions. Okay? Unfavorable weather conditions. may result in overhead lines getting short circuited or even transmission towers falling down ok. Underground cables are least affected by such conditions. Okay. The second advantage we have seen that overhead lines they have radio interference, they interfere with the nearby communication lines. So for underground cables this is going to be less, okay. so less radio interference. The third advantage is faults. The frequency of faults will be high in overhead lines, okay. But in underground cables, even though it is difficult, if any fault occurs, it is difficult to detect, but the frequency of fault occurrence is less. Okay. So these are some advantages. Now we will see what are the disadvantages. So the very first disadvantage is the high cost of insulation. Okay. So this is obvious right. In overhead lines if you can remember they are bare, the conductors are bare conductors. Okay. But in case of underground cables it has to be insulated throughout the length of the underground cables okay whereas overhead lines they are only insulated at the transmission tower connection right we have discussed overhead line insulators only there insulators are used okay so overhead lines are bare wires insulated only at transmission tower contacts but underground cables have to be insulated throughout the length to avoid direct contact with earth. The next disadvantage is there is a limitation to the voltage level. Okay. So why is that the case? It is because of the capacitance. So the underground cables they are associated with more capacitance and when there is more capacitance what will happen? There will be more charging current. So charging current increases with voltage. right? So that is why we have a limitation on the amount of voltage, the level of voltage that can be transmitted through the underground cables. Okay. So underground cables have high capacitance and so high charging current. This limits the 
use of cables for high voltage levels. Okay. Next, the third disadvantage is the erection cost. So, if you consider the overhead lines, what happens only the transmission towers have to be constructed right at regular intervals. Underground cables, a lot of you might have experienced it, the roads will be dug up right and the underground cables will then be lied in the trenches, in the pits and then it will be covered up again and again the road has to be smoothed out right. So, all of this is a lot of not only it is a lot of cost, but it is a lot of public inconvenience also right. So, erection cost is going to be higher. Digging trenches for cables is expensive as well as inconvenient to the public. Okay. Next, fault detection. So, like I already told you, the frequency of faults is going to be less. But if in case it occurs, the detection is difficult. Okay, fault detection is difficult in cables. Okay, fault detection is where the short circuit has occurred, right? At, at which location? So that is difficult to detect. Next is the size of conductor. So cables, as we will discuss now, it has a various layers. Okay, various layers for protection, for insulation and all of that. Okay. So, what will happen resultant is the overall size of the conductor will be huge. Okay. Cables have numerous layers of insulation and protection. Okay. So, size will be larger as compared to overhead lines. Okay. And finally, last one is the lifespan. So, in the case of cables, insulation deterioration is going to occur because it is it has insulator all around it, right? All through the length, and that insulator will deteriorate over time. And if once the insulator is deteriorated, then the cable has no life, right? So lesser lifespan because of insulation deterioration.